Hey all, this is Feminine Charm and I am your teacher. I am here to help you learn how to be more of a feminine being, a feminine woman, and to honestly just live in your femininity. Now, a lot of people have lately been talking about femininity a lot and just trying to figure out what is femininity. And it is such a strong power that a lot of us women have yet to tap into, whether it's because we were not raised that way, or we had mothers that were not feminine, or we lived in environments where we had to protect ourselves by being more masculine, or portraying the more masculine role, such as being a tom girl or wearing baggier clothes. Either way, whatever the reason is, you are on a journey and I am extremely excited for you. If you guys want to learn more about femininity, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you can be a part of the family. And without further ado, let's just get straight into this list on how to be a feminine woman. Now, Femininity is basically a coming of age. When you're a little girl, you're either a very dainty little girl or you could be rough around the edges. But either way, when you reach and tap into your femininity, you're becoming a woman. And it's kind of a rite of passage. And I think it's so valuable and it's so important to today's society that us women learn to love our femininity because in fact men have actually tapped into it and a lot of men have actually capitalized off of femininity and are using it for their benefit so it's our role as women to regain our power and to get our femininity back and to just thrive in what we naturally are as women is feminine and femininity and once you start learning and once you start taking more of this information in, it'll start becoming more of a lifestyle and more of a way of life and you'll start to crave it and it'll start to become more natural. And that's really what my purpose and my role is here. It's to kind of be like a big sister or a little sister wherever you fall and to help coach you through this journey. Um, so let's just get started. <laughs> so the first way of being feminine is i know you're gonna hate this but ask for help now asking for help when it comes to femininity is extremely important because it allows the other person to seek and see a need and see that we need them and we need their help and femininity is the opposite of masculinity so when you're living in your femininity and you're asking for help you're attracting masculine energy it's allowing you to be more vulnerable. And there's nothing wrong with receiving help. There's nothing wrong with receiving gifts. In fact, the masculine energy wants to help you. And the masculine energy wants to reward you and wants to give you gifts. But he is repulsed and he is turned off by the women that are living in their masculine that say, no, I don't need help. No, I can do it on my own. No, I'm independent woman. No, I don't need you. Very turned off by those women. And those are some things that societally we've learned to do as women to prove our worth and value. But in fact, it has actually lessened our worth and value. So if I can ask for anything of you today, as if you come into contact with anyone today, ask for help. The next thing is be playful. Now, the femininity is all about being playful and lighthearted and easygoing. A feminine woman, if you ever notice a feminine woman, there is this natural attraction to them. There is this natural um, just aura about them. And they're very playful. They're very just fun. And everyone wants to kind of know more about them and wants to be around them. And that is because they have that playful spirit. The masculine energy is extremely attracted to that playfulness that the femininity 
energy exudes. And so it's very important to work on our playfulness and to be more kind to ourselves. So the next thing is be giving. Be a giving person and to help whenever you can. So if you see an old lady and she's walking and she's trying to open the door, make sure that you open the door for her because that is us fully in our femininity. Now, if it is a man, he can open his own door, but if it is a lady that needs help and you see that she needs help, please be the person to take that initiative and to help her. Next, feminine women speak very softly. And there's my phone going off. But feminine women speak very softly and they are very gentle and when you speak softly it calms down everyone that's around you so you might be in a world where you're in the corporate office or you are at a mall and everyone is moving at such a fast pace but you see this woman and she's walking slow and she has a grace about her and an air and she's speaking slow and she's speaking softly and it just all of a sudden makes your anxiety or your fast paced it just makes you want to slow down and it makes you kind of want to get to that person's level and that is a very big trait in feminine women and femininity so another thing about femininity that is very important is to listen. Now, a lot of people like to be the one talking and starting conversations and being the leader and being the forerunner of many ideas. And, and that's great. And it's great that you have ideas. And being a feminine woman, you should be smart and you should be intelligent. And you always be working on yourself. And that's awesome. But be mindful that as a feminine woman, it's our power to listen. And when we listen, we're able to learn and we're able to take in information from others. And we're able to show others that our strength and our power is actually can be seen in silence. And we can be silent and we can listen. And when appropriate, <laughs> we can then talk. But it is a beautiful quality to listen. Now, it's hard for some of us to learn this quality, but once we master it, it's such an impactful thing. Now, this one is something that can be maybe hard to begin with or maybe hard to start off with, but it's really to take down your armor and all of your defensiveness now, I'm not saying that you particularly are a defensive person, but women who are in their femininity are not defensive at all. There is That is something that we strive on not doing. And when problems arise or um, hard times come, we really work on things and ways to help cope so that we don't have to get defensive or we don't have to have our armors up in those situations. So the next thing is, ladies, never compete. We are not in competition with others. Now, as far as where we are societally, we have been trained to compete with other women. We have been trained to want what other women have. And it's a natural thing to desire the best in life. And we all deserve the best in life. But... As a feminine woman, you have to understand that whatever is yours, you are meant to have. And the universe will grant you with those things. Now, as humans, we sometimes want everything. But really, we cannot have everything. And so what is meant for us will come to us. And it's not for us to be pushy and to force it. It will naturally happen. And when you're living in your femininity, there's so few of us that you'll understand when you get to this level that the opportunities will open drastically for you and it will be endless opportunities and there will be no need for competition and no need to compete because you are at the top of the cream of the crop. So 
the competing is more of a lower vibrational energy and it's more of as i say crabs in a barrel so when you're able to work into your femininity and get into your femininity you will start seeing that you will no longer need to compete with other women or men in fact because there are some women that are living in their masculinity that have to validate themselves by competing with men are our matches and we in fact don't in fact women are our allies and women should be our friends and our mothers and our daughters and our cousins and we should love and coddle women because that is what the feminine energy does now next as women as feminine women we need to be kind to ourselves When I say be kind to ourselves, there's a lot of times in life that you can have mean people say mean things and it sticks. (laughs) It literally sticks. Those mean things will stick to you. And sometimes you redefine your whole life based off of that one thing that Sally said about you or that Jessica said about you. You redefine your completely entire life and you start to see yourself how one person said that you are. You have to learn to be kind to yourself. You are number one of importance. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are wonderful. You're incredible. You're smart. You're fantastic. You have to constantly give yourself these pep talks and encouragement so that when those Jessicas and Sallys come and they try to tell you things that they're portraying from their selves onto you, it will bounce off and you won't even hear it. And that's the point and that's the place as a feminine woman you get to when you encounter those people. So you have to be kind and you have to be gentle to yourself because honestly, you deserve it. Now, with being kind and gentle to yourself, It will also exude into being kind and gentle with others around you. As a feminine person, it is so important to be a leader. And when I say a leader, I mean as far as a leader in femininity. It's important to show others kindness. It's important for others to see, wow, this person is such an amazing person and they're so kind to me. That's... Kindness is something that is so rare in our society that when we do display that, it catches people's attention and people really acknowledge and really notice and you leave a mark on people's lives forever. So being kind and doing kind gestures for others goes a very long way. So the last thing that I want to talk about on how to be a feminine woman is to be a light for others be the light that others are looking for everyone is seeking and there's so many people that are functioning on a low vibrational wave or women functioning outside of their femininity and functioning actually in the masculine that need to go back to their femininity because femininity is such a light power and femininity is such a light energy we are mother nature we are the beginning we are creation so it's important that we are the light that others see as hope and maybe that light can attract them so that they can overcome whatever despairs that they might be going through by just talking to us or having a conversation with us or sitting down with us so I hope you guys gained some knowledge from this and I just want to say that I'm so proud of you guys for starting or wherever you guys are on this journey. I am so proud of you guys and if you guys want more videos, please give me a thumbs up, get, leave some comments, let me know what you want me to talk about and we will go on from there. And until next time, feminine charm, keep your feminine charm on and I will see you guys later.